I have a question for you. If you can meet me virtually on Google Meet or probably Zoom, would you waste time taking a flight or a bus or a car and then spending so much and then coming to the office or buy a Technica? If the same thing can be done in fraction of seconds at fraction of cost? No, right? Definitely you can. You'll prefer an online meeting with me than coming down here, right? Unless, of course, uh, you are a big fan of Biotechnica, you are most welcome. But I'm give, just giving you the cost comparison. Taking a bus or a car or a plane to come down to Bangalore and meet me costs real money. But if the same thing can be done virtually, the job is done, right? Exactly the same differences in between biotechnology and bioinformatics. In biosciences, you have to do things re in the real world, in the real lab, which costs you money. But what if in the same amount of money, you could do 100 times more work? And that is bioinformatics. You can do things virtually using the data, pre-existing extrapolated data as well as the previous data. And then you can get your answers. Well, you wanted the answers, you got the answers. And that is the importance of bioinformatics in biotechnology. Now, at its core, bioinformatics is basically an interdisciplinary field where you are combining computers, algorithms, statistics, and of course, biological data. And then you are comparing things virtually, you are analyzing things virtually, and then if due to this efficient processing, you are achieving uh, some results, which of course leads to DNA, RNA, proteins, and um, various related conclusions. Now, this can be applied into multiple aspects of biotech industry, such as drug discovery, such as genomics, such as personalized medicine, cancer therapeutics, and much, much more. Now, that is where when there is a cost saving, then obviously the industry is going to embrace it. And that is why in today's world, if you see majority of biotech companies are looking for bioinformaticians, whether it is uh, you know, predicting the drug efficacy or understanding the mechanism of action of drugs. Now, whether it is uh, analyzing large amount of DNA, RNA data, it can be all achieved through bioinformatics tools and techniques. And uh, of course, personalized medicine is the next big thing in the biotech and pharma sector. And bioinformatics helps you analyze that genomic data and predict patient's response to a particular treatment and that, that of course is nothing but personalized medicine and that is where bioinformaticians will play a huge role in the future and currently already they are doing so. Now that is where bioinformatics bring, brings the efficiency that is efficient data processing. You can process data, large amount of data you can process in seconds. The next one is it obviously reduces wastage and improves the quality of research. So wastage of time, wastage of energy, wastage of resources can be conserved and then you can improve the efficiency 100 times, right? And industry always looks for saving the cost, right? Because they want to increase the profit. So that is where bioinformatics is most welcome. The third thing which I am seeing currently is uh, this, because of these, these reasons, there's a huge opportunity for biotech students who have bioinformatics skills. So you don't really need to go and do a degree in bioinformatics. If you just have an internship or a hands-on on bioinformatics or computational biology or structural bioinformatics, you are readily being hired in the industry. I know various companies like Grodias, like um, Zoom Life Sciences, and various companies who are working on bioinformatics, structural bioinformatics, bioinformatics in drug discovery, and AI in bioinformatics, and this is leading to great achievements for them. But as a biotechnologist, when you will try to learn bioinformatics, you're going to face challenges. So let me tell you this, if you're not very good with computers, well, this is going to be in your uncomfortable zone, but don't take it like I can't do it. Instead, take it like, okay, I can definitely learn something new and apply. Now, the challenges which you'll face is data quality and standardization is always going to be a challenge. Whenever you will get data as a bioinformatician, you will get data from different sources, different format, and you'll have to decipher, you'll have to decide, you have to standardize, and then you'll have to use it. So data quality and standardization is always going to be a challenge. The next obviously will be computation requirements for the other company, bio 
bioinformatics company I'm advising right now. So they have this problem that they require NVIDIA processor and lot of CPUs and GPUs to process. And that is where com significant computational power is required and sophisticated computers are required to analyze and interpret. And if that is not available, your skill set is of no, of no use. So you have to always have that. You have to ha always have hands on with powerful computers. And then obviously bioinformatics requires interdisciplinary approach. So you need to have biotech background. You know, this is a very interesting thing. The other day I was talking to an IIT professor and he said that a computer scientist cannot become a bioinformatician while a biotechnologist can easily become a bioinformatician. The reason being as a bioinformatician, you have to interpret biological data, which obviously a computer guy cannot do because you need to understand the source of the data, understand the uh, errors which can be there, understand what, why potentially you're not getting results and all that. So yeah, that is where the challenges will be there. And that is the advantage also for you as a bioinformatician. Now, few, a lot has been talked about on our channel about the future of bioinformatics. In fact, this uh, is one of the most popular uh, topics on our channel. So definitely you can refer all of that uh, later on. But for now, let me conclude with this that if you are a biotechnologist and if you want to consider a career where you are not sitting in the lab doing re, uh, you know wet lab research instead you foresee your future in the dry lab research or analyzing interpreting and standardizing data then bioinformatics is the future for you. Now, another aspect of bioinformatics is even though you are a biotech scientist, you are working in a lab, you can do a lot of bioinformatics freelancing work in your free time. So that also opens a plethora of opportunities for you. And definitely with more data which you ob observe and uh, you know process, the more experience you will become and your demand in the future will grow. So it's like a microbiologist who has handled more samples, obviously his demand will be more because by just looking at the sample, he can tell what's going wrong or right. The same thing happens with bioinformatics. So if you are a biotechnologist or life scientist who want to make a career in bioinformatics, you have the best place, Biotechnica, where we have Dr. Farhan Zami sir and, I, and his team who is going to train you on bioinformatics tools and techniques. And the link is given in the description. You can always try that out. And if you have any questions related to bioinformatics or careers, put them down in the comment section and I'll personally guide you. Thank you so much. See you soon in the next one. Till then, keep shining. Bye-bye.